Hello, my Earth Angel friends, Reverend Elvia here, and welcome to another episode of Angels Teach TV and Messages from Your Angels. You may be aware that I have taken a new approach with how I do angel readings for you, and it's all inspired by the fact that I want you to be tapping into your own intuitive guidance to really connecting with your angels, your angels who are within you right now. No matter how you're feeling, I promise that you have angelic guidance that's right here. So what we're going to do, just as we did last month and the one before, is I want you to ask your angels to choose one of the following three objects. And I'm going to be totally transparent here because I actually have five objects and we're only going to use three. So the angels have been a little mysterious with how uh, they're doing this with us. So object number one, and this is one that I've actually been receiving for a couple of days and I know it's right. And I also know it's a little weird, but that's okay. Bear with me. Object number one is a roll of toilet paper. And... <laughs> I'm giggling because just what I have learned and really become aware of in the last week is, and I don't know why, it just seemed like there was some kind of a tipping point that was like, wow, people really do have their personal preferences around toilet paper. Very interesting to see what is important when it comes to something as important as toilet paper. So object number one, toilet paper. Object number two and I'm getting a yes on this, is a picture of my grandmother and her two sisters. And remember, this is going to relate to you. So just let go of what your expectations are. Let go of, you know, what you're thinking it might be. And just let your angels help you decide and choose which one. So object number two, this beautiful picture of my beautiful grandma and her two sisters. Object number three is... Okay, all right, we're going with the magic wand. Beautiful, beautiful magic wand. You gotta love that, huh? This was handcrafted by my friend and Angels Teach teacher, Gina Lombroso, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. It's this beautiful piece of magical wood. I'm not sure what kind of tree it's from, but it has this quartz crystal at the end, um, as well as little shells, and just wrapped and decorated so beautifully. It's very fairy-like, actually. So object number three is the magic wand. Again, ask your angels to help you with which is the right one for you. Don't expect that toilet paper is going to be one thing and a magic wand is going to be another. Yes, of course, there are associations, but I'm going to pick a card for each one of these. So object number one, toilet paper. Object number two, picture of my grandmother and her two sisters. And object number three, magic wand. Got it? Pause the video if you need to, take a few deep breaths, and ask your angels to make it clear what feels right deep inside of you. Okay, so let's get to starting the reading here. I'm going to be using Tony Carmen Salerno's Angels, Gods, and Goddesses deck, and I'm going to start with the toilet paper. And the card that is coming forward for the toilet paper, for those of you who chose that, is the Angel of Clearing. Now this is a very logical one. You can think toilet paper helps us clean up, right? It helps us to clean stuff out of our environment and keep us healthy, right? And the Angel of Clearing um, is so much about the same thing. It's really about cleaning up the messes in your life. And what I'm hearing is that if you chose the toilet paper that there is a pretty big mess in your life and remember that in truth it's all in divine order so don't go into the whole judgment thing of why do I have such a big mess in my life don't do that don't don't that's not going to help you what will help you is to step back take a breath and say okay angels help me see through this mess help me to clean it up and support me and guide me through this process so I'm hearing that there are actually two action items for you. And the first one is to ask for help. So important. We can't awaken that inner guidance. We can't turn on our angelic antennae unless we ask for help. So very essential to do that and get specific with the help that you're asking for. Say, angels, please help me clean up this mess. Obviously, I've attracted it into my life. Please help me to learn from it 
to release it and move on. So that's action item number one, ask for help. Action item number two is to forgive yourself and to be open to whatever the lesson is for you. Obviously, you have attracted this mess into your life for a divine purpose. Trust that, no matter what it looks like, no matter how hard it is to look at that, trust it. And just ask your angels to make it very clear what is the lesson and how can you learn from it. Because when you do, that's what's going to precipitate that release, that healing, and help you to move on. And you'll be stronger, you'll be more in line with truth, you'll be just rocking it as you move through whatever that mess is for you. So don't let your ego drag you down with this. That's, that's really important. Don't get stuck in the, oh my God, how did I get here, and all of that. Don't, don't. Just stay in alignment with love. Okay, so object number two, for those of you who picked the picture of my grandmother and her sisters, the card for you, and I'm already hearing clairaudiently with my hearing, I'm hearing community. So community is a big part of the message here. And I got the angel of prayer. Beautiful image. And I'm hearing that it's the start of a new community for you. If you have chosen this card, um, there's a community. I'm noticing that the angel of prayer looks very much like a new beginning to me. Um, it looks like um, she's almost birthing. So with this angel of prayer and pulling all of that together for you, uh, there's a community that you have started to tap into. Um, it may be angels teach, it may not be. It's, it's really, it's, what's important is that it feels right to you and you know in your core that, hey, these are people, this is a community that I want to grow closer to. And I, I think about, and I'm being drawn back to that picture of my grandmother and her two sisters. I was with my mother yesterday and, you know, I had forgotten that my grandmother also had three brothers because she and her sisters were like this little pod and I didn't know her sisters that well. Um, I'm the youngest, so I knew my grandmother pretty well, but you know, it, 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 they, were, they were a unit and they were very close. And so there's a sisterhood that is waiting for you, that is wanting to welcome you into uh, their arms. And whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. There is this community that is loving, that is, is there for you. And it's important for your spiritual growth, for you to connect with like-minded individuals and to really be in that energy of people who accept you for who you are. Because talking to the angels, communicating, and even, you know, being open to intuitive guidance is something that sometimes we feel like we're swimming against the stream and swimming against the current, and it can be hard. And uh, this is an invitation for you to draw on the support of a community that you're, you're just starting to tap into. And it's a beautiful thing, so go with it. All right. So object number three, the magic wand. Beautiful, beautiful. The card that is coming forward for those of you who chose this object is the angel of manifestation. Interesting, because I have to say, um, both the Angel of Clearing and the Angel of Manifestation um, are very literal interpretations. You know, the Angel of Space Clearing for the toilet paper, the Angel of Manifestation for the magic wand. Of course, we all want to be able to go boom and manifest and make things happen. And that's what this card is really about, is drawing, um, and I'm hearing consolidating your energy. Remember that what you focus on expands. So... If you're spending a good bit of time thinking, why am I at this job? Why is she doing that? Why is he doing that? Why do I look the way I do? Why isn't my house cleaner? Why, 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 why? If you're spending a lot of time with thoughts that are taking you in these different directions that aren't loving and honestly are pretty judgmental, then you're dispersing your power. And even if you spend a good amount of time in prayer and focused on the higher vibrations of love, what you're wanting to manifest is going to take longer because it's getting a little more mixed with those chaotic judgmental thoughts. So the invitation, the message for you, if you chose the magic wand, is to find something in your life. I'm hearing a 
big yes on this, is to find some object in your life. It could be a magic wand, it could be something that you make yourself, it could be just a stick you pick up on the ground, it could be a crystal, it could be really anything that feels symbolic to you of uh, tapping into your true manifestation abilities and using it as a focal point to remind you that when you start to get distracted by those thoughts of why this, why that, how come, those judgmental little tendencies, you bring yourself back to focus and you ask yourself, is this what I want to be manifesting? And the answer is going to, of course, be no. So you, have, you, you use this as a reminder, as a tool to say, I'm keeping my thoughts focused on the higher vibrations of love. And as I do that, as I follow my heart, as I trust my inner guidance, I, by definition, step into my life purpose. I attract the people that I love. I attract the work that I love. I attract only goodness. So remember what you focus on expands, focus on only love. So I'm just going to tune in and see if the angels have anything else for this month. And I'm hearing no. It's all good. So with that, I invite you to check us out online at angelsteach.com where we have training, angel communication basic training, and all the way up to our angelic life coach training. Lots and lots of training opportunities for you as well as our Living with the Angels membership community. If you're looking to connect with other like-minded angel lovers, definitely something for you to check out. And if you like this video, please share it with your friends and family and help us spread the word of the angels. And with that, I wish you a beautiful, blessed day. Be well.